Freebies, it's me, Firebee, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Last time we got our starter by going through the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. And, uh, well, I suppose I could just show off what my starter was. It was the water one. Elatux, who, after a while of thinking, named Deuterium, has some pretty decent stats. And then our first encounter, only encounter actually on Route 1 so far, that was Teddy the Cubug. Pretty decent stats. No real appreciable moves yet, though. So there's that. Uh, off screen went back and healed, because I wasn't sure if there was anything up ahead. Uh, found out that if you do go home, your aunt says, oh, you know, yeah, it, it's lonely without you here. You know, I tried to talk to your father, but he just gave me the cold shoulder. How rude. So there's that. Now let's go out here. Kevlar Town. Of course, I went back and healed when I was three steps away from a town. Figures. Hey, did you know that if you talk to people multiple times, sometimes they'll say different things? Yeah, just like that. Good work. Oh, but then sometimes they just go back to what they said before. There's nobody here. Okay. How about in the house next to it? Hello. We just moved to this town. It's small, but homely. I think it'll be a good place to raise a family someday. She's talking about kids already. Why couldn't we just trace some Pokemon instead? Now, if you're gonna say some people say multiple things, maybe let your text move faster. That Mari is always crying to people to get them to do something for him. And he wonders why he doesn't have any friends. Who? Welcome to Kevlar Town, the tiniest town in Tandor. Hey dude, wanna hear a good joke? Sure, I'm down for a good joke. Okay, listen. How do you get 50 Pikachu on a bus? You Pokemon! I <laughs> get it! Oh, come on, you don't even have multiple jokes? How lame. Leave me alone. All right. Yeah, what about it? I guess I gotta go talk to somebody else to get resolution on that one. Oh, okay, neat. Must be a pain to live in Moki Town since there isn't a bar. Perhaps we should expand to there. Perhaps you should. It's a colorful poster. 50% off Friday. Which Friday? What day is it today? Wednesday. That's not 50% off anything. Alright, we'll still talk to the guy. Um, we'll buy two more of those and keep up around. Uh, I'll buy a bunch of potions. And another antidote. Nope. Cool. That was a little bit of an awkward exit to the building. But sure. Hey, it's a flower shop. I grab these berries first. Because I'm just going to steal all their merchandise that they were growing. Don't mind me. Sure, we'll just grab all these Oran berries. That'll be useful for about the first gym and then nothing past that. I wish they kind of scaled a little better, but all right. My girlfriend's mad at me, so I'm buying her flowers to get her to forgive me. Got the luck with that one. Welcome to Kevlar's Berry Shop. Take a free sample of Tandor's... Tandor apostrophe S. Most delicious berries. Your Pokemon will love them. We got a... Baku Berry? A Guara Berry? A Kubu Berry? An Acai Berry? find those berries in a much greater mountain, Baikal, Baikal Forest, uh, these roots are endemic to that area. Okay, but what are they? Okay, to recover from paralysis. That's... That just looks like a citrus berry and is the same thing as a... Uh, um, not long. I mean, Lumberry does that, but, uh, Chesto. That's a 
that's the sprite of an Akaberry. But sure. And that's the sprite of a, um... Oh, I know this one. But it's not coming to mind. It's, um... It's from Gen 3, but it was, like, never seen there. And they just... They do the same things as other existing berries. I was hoping that there'd be something more interesting. But no. Alright, sure. I mean, I'll take free berries. Don't get me wrong. I'm alright with that. Route 2. I'm not done exploring the town yet. What is over here to the left? Bike repair shop. Oh. Hey, kid, you a trainer? Well, you might want to know that if you head north, you can reach No Talk City, which has the first gym. It's good to know. I want to get a bike, but the shop here doesn't have any. What a lame shop. Does it not? No, this looks pretty empty of bikes. Hey, kid, you walked in here, which means you need a bike repaired. Oh, you don't have one? <laughs> Figures. Haven't gotten many customers of late now that I've already sold everyone in Kevlar Town a bike. Actually, if you bring me a bike wheel, I can fix an old bike to go and give it to you. Alright, sure. But yeah, you should probably consider selling bikes. My dream is to live in Nautok City, one of the coolest cities in Tandor. Is it? Oh. Strength puzzles already. Huh. Hello. Oh, hello, young trainer. Is this maybe your first time seeing a Pokemon Center? Not in the slightest. Come with me, I'll show you around. Oh boy. A Pokemon Center, first and foremost, is sort of like a hospital for Pokemon. My sister here will restore your or her Pokemon to full health. Our services are completely free of charge, so feel free to use them as much as you like. That's not all there is in a Pokemon Center, though. To my left is a PC, it can be used to store items and Pokemon. If you're already carrying six and you catch another, it automatically gets sent to the PC. Tandor's Pokemon storage system was developed by somebody named Twitch, who probably also streams on Twitch, if I had to guess. No, I, I don't know. So that's why it's called Twitch's PC. Not even the foggiest idea who they really are, though. It's one of the devs. Up here, we have the Tandor Network. Oh, boy. This doesn't even loop. Allows you to connect with other trainers all around the world. If you talk to the attendants, they can fill you in with more info. This concludes the tour, as thanks for listening. Why don't you take these? Thanks for the aura and berries. We hope to see you again. Um, and last I knew, they were having some bit of server issues with their connection things up here, so I'll mess with those later. There's a cave on the way to Nautosh City that's a best and strong Pokemon. Be careful. Say, trainer, which starter did you pick? Uh, Elitus. Good decision. Elitus is well-rounded and able to beat a lot of different types. But careful of Gruzard's magnitude. Huh. Okay. Water types hit it for massive damage. I could tell you that much. I'm raising my special chin, chin monk. But even though they have powerful moves, we keep losing. Wanna fight? Sure. Okay, here we come. Why not? Um, something tells me Teddy probably can't take this alone, so we'll go switch out to the Cheerium. Ah, yes, the very powerful move, Tackle. Get static. I thought that, that was only like a 10% chance? Looks like 10% equals 100%. It's just missing a zero from the end. Alright. And we'll go for a Tackle. Oh, what? Oh, oh. They have another chance. Alright. 
I guess we just spam tackles. Ah uh, yes, the very powerful noob tackle. Are you gonna switch out? No? Alright, cool. There's one down. I'm going to switch Teddy out. Or in, rather. Get some switch training going. If it's gonna be easy fights like this. Alright. Um, I wonder if there's a way to actually rearrange this. Like, in battle. How much damage it take? Actually, not a terrible amount. Cool. So there's all the... Thanks for the crit, Teddy. Thanks. Alright, level up. And a Jin Monk? Nah. Go for another tackle. How much are we taking from this? More than I'd like. Alright. Out to Deuterium. That's just how it is with early game bugs. Oh no, I'm being tackled. It's so terrible. I keep expecting that to just default back to fight. For some reason. Alright. Another tackle or two ought to do it. There we go. Done. See, we keep losing. There's, can you heal my chin, Monk? Thanks, now they're fighting bit. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon in fact. We built a second floor for the Focus Center, but we don't know what to point here. Oh, wait, Jandor Network is up there. Oh, come on. Not even a default thing for that. Alright. I could go fight the guy again. Or, I could go up here and, uh... Go fight the trainer I see up here. Something about this corner just does not look very good from a map-making perspective. And I think it's main... Well, I mean, it's because there's a sharp contrast between this and this. But also you have two layers turning into one layer. So you have a two high wall that's just turned into a one high wall here. And it doesn't look all that great. Because it looks like there's some weird ass perspective thing going on. Okay. I heard oat oh, nest in this area. I'm trying to catch one. But you just have a burby. Well, that he's definitely getting switched out. I should probably see about trying to catch a burby at some point. Actually, I should start coming up with names for some of the Pokemon that I'm seeing. That would actually be somewhat wise. If y'all have suggestions for names of future Pokemon, uh, do feel free to uh, come up with those and then put them down in the comments. But it's always good to have names standing by for stuff. I like Ruby Scry. It's pretty nice. Uh, Chinlock. Sure. We'll do a little switch trainer. Why not? Why not? Alright, technical. It tackles for half. That seems about right. Okay. Switch back out. Hopefully Teddy gets a fair bit stronger when it evolves. We'll just have to see though. I'm assuming that it evolves like most bugs end up doing, but I have no idea. It'll be quite a surprise. Nice and paralyzed. Alright, 
one more. Go to level five. berry I was thinking of earlier is a Roat berry. That's what it was. The one that looks like a bunch of tops together. It's actually a Gen 4 berry, apparently. Well, technically introduced in Gen 4. You gotta tell me what's your secret to Pokemon training, please? Okay, good. Someone tougher than me? Impossible! Nope, nope, not that. The health like. Um, let me run back and heal since I'm right next to the Poker Center. Might as well make use of the distance. I hope that the bike is faster than the running shoes are, because the running shoes are not particularly fast. Like, they're faster than walking, but like, a slugma moves faster than walking. Or whatever snail Pokemon is no doubt in this. Let's see if we can't find a shells of Burby. Hey look, it's a Burby! Uh time to switch. Now to Deuterium. Now I gotta come up with a name. Uh, it knows Flash? Why does it know Flash? Okay. It's an odd move for it to know, but sure. Don't kill it, please. Okay. I can't hit it again, so I'm just gonna have to... Nope, nope, no, no, no. Okay. Go for a Pokeball. And kind of hope. Oh. And it is a low level Pokemon. Hey, got it. Uh, that is way too loud. Way, way too loud. Let's see. Eden Bird Pokemon. It defends itself by dazzling opponents by flashing its brightly colored plumage. They're known for their elaborate. They're known for their elaborate. Actually, I know what I'll call you. I'll call you Indigo. Teddy gained 18 experience points. Deuterium gained 18 experience points. Alright, let's go see what your stats are like. Alright, what's up? That's just normal flying. Huh, wouldn't have expected it with the color. It's timid nature. Ouch! Actually, not terrible. Analytic is pretty cool. And with a low speed IV, that'll be decent. But it is timid, so it's got a 10% boost to it. Which is actually really bad when you consider that its attack is at 31 and then lessened. <laughs> But it looks like it'll probably be a special attacker, which is alright then. Shame about its defensive stats though. Hmm. Just flash growl. Oh. Um. Um. Yeah, that's a thing. Are you tough enough to make it through this cave? I don't know. Only one way to find out. Oh, hey, it's a manky. Um, maybe go still at more than half health. Slightly. And it's strong. Okay, cool. And 
else ought to do some damage. Ah, uh, yes, let's kick a bird. That'll definitely do well. Let's kick a bird. Nope, nope. Damn it. Hit it when that happens. When the computer decides, oh, hey, let's just, you know, you said you wanted to be focused on this window, right? And not the window that you're actively using? Yeah, that, that seems like a wise idea. Just change the focus. Ah, uh, living it. You gotta remember that this is gonna be slow. Okay. Uh, let's switch back to Teddy. I think Indigo will be taking a backseat for the rest of this fight. Okay. A burial. I don't know what type you are. Rock? Okay. Fair enough. Bad news for you, I chose the water starter. Bad news for you. You can harden yourself all you like, but I don't think that'll stop the raging Dorans that are about to go your way as much of raging torrents as a water gun can be. Maybe it's a super soaker. Like, an old-fashioned super soaker. Not like the newer crap ones. Back when they could actually, you know, when they were actually decent size, didn't have batteries in them, and you could actually properly bump them. Teddy Man Struggle Bug. Alright, cool. Looks like you're tough, all right. Mm, you're pretty good, it seems. Trade Pokepod numbers with me, and I'll call you whenever I find a rare Pokemon. Tell me more. Watch your step in caves. Pokemon can jump from anywhere. Found a potion. Nice. Actually, speaking of the Pokepod, where is it? There it is. It's a radio. I poke it. Okay. Sure. Ooh. Nice. Seems like something to tango to. Gee, I wonder where this could be used at. I think this is the title screen music? Ah, oh, and it actually keeps remembering what music you have. Good morning, this is Fire, right? It's me, Richie. How are you Pokemon doing? I always keep my foretog in top shape by going to boat non centers. I spend all day spent all day hunting for a shiny Burby. I didn't manage to find any though. Click. This trainer is close by. Talk to the trainer in person. Get off your phones. Okay. Apparently the uh Apparently the professor technically isn't. Now let's see if this music changes when I... Mm. Alright, I fully expected the music to change when I went into a different area. Um... Hold up, I want C, C... What? That one? It's hard to tell when there's no... no. Hmm. 
How do I actually make it stop playing music? Alright. I can get behind most of the music in this. But how do I actually make it stop playing music? be actually really nice if you could do that. Oh, wait. I see. There's multiple categories here. I understand. There's just no way to see what the heck the music is. Because the text doesn't appear. like the cancel all the music button like how do we turn this one off this is a lot of songs this is an awful lot of songs ah whatever whatever we get tango music for a little bit I guess. Old entrance to Now Talk City. And the events of a roadblock, Now Talk City may be reached through Passage Cave. Let me guess. Wow, look, it's a roadblock! Amazing. Incredible. This is a cool looking cave. I bet it has cool music too, but uh... No way to know that one! Oh, oh that's kind of neat. It even keeps the music going during the battles. I like that. Let's see how well this particular one loops. The answer is, it doesn't. It doesn't. sure actually what point in the game it would be used at. Like, I can't imagine any point in the game that would use this music. I found an escape rope. Okay. I think I've had about enough of this song. Where's the turn off music button? categories and then there's the one with all the music in it. Let me see if I can get to the bottom of the list. Thanks. Let's see what this one does. I'm not creeped out, are you? Nah. Totally fine. I'm not sure what the purpose of this song is. I mean, it's clear what it is, but, um... What's the purpose of doing this on what sounds almost like a theremin? Outside of the fact that it can be done. <laughs> I have no idea. These Grozards seem to like it, though. Because I certainly haven't seen anything other than them. 
not particularly interested in them, though. That's why I haven't got one. Okay. Oh, hey. It's on of me. It's a bat. Actually, I'm just gonna run from this one. I, I have to say that it is actually a very nice touch that it does do water sounds when you're near water. That is a pretty neat touch. Okay. Really? Okay. Sure. Really? Alright. Fine. I guess we'll actually attack it. Here, I thought I could just get away with running from it. Oh. Well, that's an animation and a half. Also, rude. However, they have the Gen 4 method of dealing with poison, which is... They still work, but it just goes away. I think that's Gen 4. Oh boy. These have more defense than I thought they would, actually. Water gun, then. Yeah, there it goes. Alright. So, next time on Pokemon Uranium, uh, we'll figure out our way through this cave, and off screen, I'll figure out how to get the actual music back. Because as great as this radio is, I think I've had about enough of this particular song. So yeah, make sure you come back for whatever is in the next town. Yeah, you know, there's there's a gym there. We'll probably try taking on the gym. So make sure you come back for that. And until then, farewell.